OIST opens its campus to the public once a year to showcase its research and demonstrate through hands-on learning that science is fun. Recruiting the younger generation of female scientists is also par for the course. <laughs> <laughs> this year, visitors began lining up before the event even opened. Within one hour, more than 3,000 people had passed through OIST's tunnel. By the end of the day, some 200 volunteers from OIST helped usher more than 4,000 people through the maze of labs and booths. So, what did they get to do and see? They generated electricity through wind power, took quizzes on research safety, and won lab gear. Viewed ants in 3D and got the live ones to follow drawn lines. They directed robots to follow commands, punched a quicksand-like mixture of water and cornstarch, bent laser light through water, and watched the making of a staircase-long soap film. They also learned how to fool your brain, how your brain is put together, and what that brain looks like. Okay, so not everyone could see this. Of course, the biggest hit? Making soapy bubbles and ice cream with liquid nitrogen. The audience, well, at least the kids, got to taste the results of this experiment. <laughs> Yummy! Yummy? Yeah. Visitors could also attend talks by OIST researchers, and one given by the Japanese space agency, JAXA, on space exploration. <laughs> For one visitor, OIST actually felt like a different world, but did she learn anything? Oh yeah, a lot about ants. See, that's why I was telling my son and my husband that it's not cool to kill ants, because ants has families, moms and dads. And what made an impression on the kids? Um, brains. But there's like a thousand stuff in your brain, and um, that happens all at one time. Birds. Overall, the 2013 Open Campus ignited scientific curiosity in hundreds of people. Truly a rewarding day for everyone involved. We hope to see even more next year, so don't forget to bring your appetite for learning science.